tavalyi bejelent meg magyarul, és angolul ez a könyv, és egy újság kritikából értesültem, hogy olyan fantasztikus könyvet adtak ki, aminek még nincs párja. El is olvastam, karácsony rendék volt, és azt mondhatom, hogy valóban egy olyan könyvet kaptam a kezemben, amit még eddig soha nem. Úgyhogy most nagykövető lett úgy üdvözölhető, mint ennek a könyvnek a szerzője, tessenek kérdezni. Tiszteltel köszöntjük, Gyula, nekem az lenne a kérdésem, hogy nagyon sokféle könyvet, kiadványt lehetett hallani, és a főleg megközelítés, főleg manapság az élet rejtéjeiről, honnan jövünk, hova megyünk. Nagykövető által jött könyv, milyen megvilágításba helyezi ezt a kérdést? Okay, so the first question is that lately we can see and, and buy several kinds of books that are searching for the same mysteries of life from many different aspects. What would make your book different, or what would be the perspective that it could show us? I think the reader has to decide whether this is really revealing the mystery of life or not. Az elsősorban az olvasónak kell előtni, hogy kiderül neki belőle az élet rejtelmei, vagy nem. Uh, I was asked this question by uh, the foreign policy advisor to President Adair. And once he read the book, he came back to me that yes, this does reveal the mystery of the I have got feedback from many readers in Hungary who have written to me and who have also told me that this is one of the best books they have ever read in their life. A hazai olvasótól egyébként folyamatosan kap nagyon pozitív visszajelzéseket, és igen, mindenki számára rejtett újdonságokat, meg válaszokat a kérdéseikre. One lady wrote to me that if she has to disappear, she will disappear with this book on an isolated island, and this is the only thing she wants there, nothing else. Volt olyan, mert sok levelet is kapott, és volt egy olyan levél is, amiben egy hölgy azt írta neki, hogy egy lakatlan szigetre is ezen az egy könyvvel tűnne el, nem vinne magával már. A spirituálisan ébredő emberek manapság gondolom, mennyire egy nyitottnak lenne az, hogy megértsük a könyvet, ez iránt a téma is egyáltalán gondolkodás mozira. How open do you need to be in a spiritual manner to be able to understand what the book is about? You don't have to be in a spiritual manner. Spirituality is not something out of this world. All of us have enough spirituality within us to understand the facts of life. These are the questions which arise in the mind of each one of us sometime in life. And the, we are only answering these questions in a scientific way. Tehát a spiritualitás az mindannyiunkban megvan, különösebb nyitottságnak nem kell lennie, és egyébként meg a kérdéseinkre a válaszok azok valójában tudományosabbak annál, mint amit gondolnánk. A spirituality does not rest in a church or in a temple or in a mosque. It is within our hearts. A spiritualitást azt nem templomban, mecsetben találjuk meg, hanem a szívünkben elsősorban. Ősi tudás és a mai ember, ez is az egyik cím a mai előadásnak. Mi az az ősi tudás, ami a mai ember számára fontos lehet? De egy picit már talán elfelejtkezett volna ezt kérdezni, mert először nagy hát tudtam. The ancient wisdom and modern man, two main parts of the uh, today's talk. What is the uh, main relation and what is something that we might have been forgotten during the years and that should come up now? The fundamental question is that whether our forefathers, our ancestors, were they not intelligent enough to discover the world, the universe, or whether we have lost this knowledge during the period of history and we are trying to research it today. Az, az, az egy fontos, hogy ez az egésznek az alapja, hogy vajon az őseink uh, tudták-e ezekre a kérdésekre a választani, amiket most keresünk, vagy nekünk kell bármit is újra felfedeznünk. We have to reinvent the wheel because we have lost that wisdom over centuries. De úgy tűnik, hogy igen, mert az évek alatt elvesztettük azt a tudást, igen, amivel valaha rendelkeztünk már. We are today completely lost into the cycle of desires. Most a fogyasztás körforgásában veszünk el inkább. We want to acquire more and more and more, whether it is 
in terms of clothing or housing or travel or uh, physical comforts, we always have a desire to get more. A vágyunk az mindig a többre van meg, mindig egyre többet szeretnénk birtokolni az életnek minél több anyagi as területén. It is at the individual level, it is at the company level, it is at the national level. Ez gyakorlatilag a, a, a külvilág, az életünknek minden szintjén egy formán megvan magunkban is, a közvetlen környezetünkben is, a munkakörnyezetünkben, így egymásra épül a minden szinten. At individual level we want to have more and more income. How do we get this? In? We are stressed to get more income. At company level they want to have more revenue, more sales, more profit. At national level we always hear more GDP, our GDP should grow. So this is a cycle in which we are working today. Hát ez a körforgás arról szól, hogy mi magunk is egyre vagyonosabbak szeretnénk lenni, a munkakörnyezetünkben is bevételeket várnak, és ez kiterjed nyilván országos szintre is, amikor pedig az államháztartás kérdései az, ami lecsapódik egészen hozzánk, és ebben a körforgásban örülődünk folyamatosan. This very cycle indicates that we are not happy with what we have. És ez a körforgás mutatja, hogy valójában azzal nem vagyunk boldogak, ami, amink van. If we are happy, then we will not be asking for more. Mert hogyha boldogok lennénk, akkor nem akarnánk többet. So the question arises, can we reach a level of happiness through this process of enhancing our GDP and our personal income and to what extent? De a kérdés az az, hogy ez a körforgás, meg ez a folyamatos birtoklási vágy elvezethet-e egyáltalán a boldogsághoz? And how much destruction it will cause of the nature? And how are we able to live with that destruction? És közben hogyan pusztítjuk a környezetünket, vagy legalábbis hogyan tudunk vele egyáltalán együtt élni? We have already polluted our earth, our rivers, and we are polluting air considerably. Are we in a position to continue this and still survive as a human race? This is the question we have to ask ourselves. Mert egy között folyamatosan szennyezzük a környezetünket, az egy fontos kérdés, hogy hihető ez egyáltalán még további szintekre úgy, hogy közben túl is éljünk. An origin of all this lies in our desires, because we want more. That is where the origin lies. És ez, ennek az, az eredete az mind a, a vágyaink mögött húzódik. A nagy törtőr egy korábbi interjúban azt nyilatkozta, hogy a legutóbbi könyvét a magyarok a magyarok inspirálták. Milyennek látja a magyarokat egy világváltott ember? Tehát ő elsősorban nyitottak el a különbözőséget a bölcsesség. Yes, I must tell you one thing, that I find Hungarian people highly introspective. They are searching into themselves. They are not completely materialistic like the Western Europe. Nagyon introvertáltak és nagyon uh, jellemzőek, hogy magukban keresnek uh, kérdésekre válaszokat. Nem annyira uh, fogyasztói társadalomnak nevezhető a magyar, mint amennyire például a nyugat-európai. When I came here in April 2010, I was invited as ambassador by some yoga centers for their normal you know, functions at delivering some few words uh, in over you know talks things like that so then i told them can i deliver more substantive talk and in one or two places they accepted at a megérkezésen korkész 2010 áprilisban volt eh újra meg újra hívták elsősorban különböző yoga központokban hogy tartson ott előadásokat az embereknek és ő felvetette akkor, hogy ő szívesebben bővítené ezt, és tartana a tartalmasabb, mélyebb előadásokat, beszélgetéseket az embereknek. And after people heard my talks, they more and more yoga centers and outsiders started inviting me. And they started raising all kinds of questions, which 
inspired me to write this book. És miután egyre nőtt a számosság ezenek az előadásoknak, egyre több emberhez jutottak el a, az ismeretek, egyre több kérdés az, ami hozzá visszaérkezett, ez adta végül az inspirációt ahhoz, hogy a könyvet megírja. So the land of Hungarians and the people of Hungary have inspired me to write this book. A magyar föld és a magyar emberek adták valóban elsősorban az inspirációt, hogy megírja ezt a könyvet. I'm to all of you for that. És ezért mindenkinek nagyon hálás. Ez már egy kérdés. Nagyon nincs, köszönjük szépen a sajtónak. Thank you very much. One more sentence. I would like to Még egy mondatot. I would like to thank uh, uh, Joseph Gedeon and the mayor Dr. Erno for inviting me here and organizing this talk. I'm grateful to both of them for their support and for all the arrangements they have made. A igazgatónak és a polgármesternek köszönte meg a meghívást és a fáradozásaikat, amivel lét lehetővé tették ezt a mai előadást. And I would also like to thank László, who has very kindly agreed to do the interpretation for me. Köszönöm szépen, hogy igyekszem hozzájárulni. Egy Egy sorban 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 Körülnézek, hogy ez a hát a city this afternoon. And how do you see the, the city of Gibla? It's beautiful. I like it, you see. I don't like these high-rise, multi-story buildings which make you little small. You feel totally lost. These small towns are much more beautiful. People are more, uh, you know, human in their behavior. They are more connected with each other. Uh, With big cities, we are destroying the what you call the humanity in human beings. Yeah, the large cities, the large buildings, together we are becoming more and more separated, more and more isolated from each other. These smaller cities, the large cities, the people feel better where the people are more connected with each other. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of this town and the culture of this town. And people here are proud of the history of
Köszönöm szépen! 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 Köszönöm Jó estét kívánok! First of all, I would like to express my very sincere thanks to Georgia and Dr. Erno Vermeer for inviting me to your beautiful city. Elég elsősorban szeretném megköszönni Polgármester úrnak és Jóretnek a meghívást ebben a gyönyörű városban. I'm also grateful to Laszlo for agreeing to do the interpretation for me. He would do my speech. And I'm thankful to all of you for coming in such a large number to listen to me. I hope you will find my talk of some use in your life. <laughs> Megköszönöm önnek, hogy ilyen nagy számban eljöttek a mai esti előadásra, legalább, hogy a sok kérdésükre választ tudnak kapni. At the end of the talk, you can ask me as many questions as you want. There's no problem. I'll be here till whatever time you want me to be here. Az előadás követően egészen nyugodtan tehetnek fel kérdéseket, de már állok a rendelkezésükre. Now the topic which Joseph gave me is modern man and ancient wisdom. A témánk a modern ember és az ősi tudás. So I will spend a few minutes on what I feel is modern man, and then we will go to the ancient wisdom to find the meaning of life. Először néhány percben arról szeretnék beszélni, hogy az én véleményem szerint milyen is a modern ember, aztán visszatérünk az ősi tudáshoz. I was trying to put together some of these ideas what modern man looks like. And I found that the modern man is educated. He goes to the schools and universities to specialize institutions. He is connected. He has internet, cell phone, uh, television. Összeszedtem magamnak néhány pontban is, hogy a véleményem szerint mi jellemzi a mai modern embert. Elsősorban az, hogy rendkívül képzett, iskolázott, és uh, információkkal rendkívül ellátott, tehát uh, széles kapcsolatokkal rendelkezik. He has the so-called American dream, you know, he wants to have a big house, comfortable life, he wants to travel around the world, and he wants to have uh, luxury, five-star comforts in life. És a leginkább az amerikai álmot szeretné megvalósítani nagy házzal, nagy autóval, sok utazással és minél több csillagos kényelemmel. The modern man is also not very happy with the rural life. He wants to move to the big urban cities and live there. Ja, a természeti környezettel nem annyira elégedett, sokkal jobban érzi magát a városokban. Agriculture and farming is far from him. He wants to work in corporate sectors and big institutions. Uh, he is not very much keen to do the traditional handicrafts and uh, agriculture. A mezőgazdaság kézi munka az meglehetősen távol áll tőle, sokkal jobban érzi magát a városi környezetben, irodákban. His life is very fast. He wants to do things quickly. You know, his speed is the essence, like fast food and fast internet and things like that. The speed is the essence of modern man. De az életének leginkább a sebesség, a tempó az eszenciája. There may be many more uh, qualities, but I think uh, I summarize some of the qualities of a modern man in these words. And you see what is the result of all this? The result is that he is very stressed because he wants to earn more, so the stress level has gone up considerably. De a legfontosabb, hogy a, a, a stressz az nagyon megvan benne, mert mindig többre vágyik. He is never satisfied because he wants more and more. So uh, he is ready to put in more efforts, but he is never satisfied. So his contentment is not there. Ja, soha nem elégedett, mindig többre vágyik. He feels more and more lonely because though he is connected, but his 
completely disconnected from within. He never gets an education about who am I. He only gets an education of the outside world. De közben egyre magányosabb is, mert bár a kapcsolatai megvannak, saját magából elveszti a kapcsolatot, nem úgy keresi a kérdést arra a válaszra, hogy ki is vagyok én. Ez az The modern man has a very unhappy personal life. The families are falling apart. There is more use of alcohol, more use of drugs, more use of antidepressant tablets. A, a modern ember élete egyre stresszesebb és boldogtalanabb, és a család egyre kisebb jelentőséget tölt be benne. Um, ennél sokkal fontosabb az alkohol, a drogok, a különböző antidepresszáns, a gyógyszere. The health, the life longevity is increasing because of the modern medication, but the inner health of the people is very poor. They are using 5-10 tablets every day. This is the normal state of people this stage. A gyógyászat nagyon fejlődik, de belülről az egészségünk az egyre jobban csoportból egyre gyengébb. Do you agree with me about the description of a modern man? Egyet értenek a modern ember leírásával? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Now, now I will go back to the topic on which I would like to speak in detail. Now the problems because of this modernity is that our stress level has gone up, our unhappiness has increased, our life has become lonely and our health from inside is weak. A modern életünkkel a legnagyobb probléma az, hogy a stressz szintünk az nagyon magas, ugye boldogtalanabbak és egyre magányosabbak vagyunk. So we must find out what exactly we want in life to begin with. If we want to reach from here to say Budapest, you can, once you decide that I have to go to Budapest, then you can decide whether you want to go by train, by road, or you want to, which route you want to take, then you can take a decision. But you have to decide where you want to go. A döntéseket kell hozni, de nem, hogy mikor hová szeretnék eljutni. Leginkább a célt kell mindig megválasztani, mondjuk így. If you don't know whether you are going to Budapest or Szeged, then you would have confusion how to chart out your route, you see. You can never, never decide on the route if you can't decide on the destination. Igen, hogy az utat azt nem tudjuk addig megválasztani, meg annak a közlekedésnek a mondját, még nem tudjuk el, hogy hova akarunk eljutni, amíg nincs meg a célja. So the first question which I would like to pose to all of us is what is the objective of my life what is the mission of my life what i want to do in my life az első kérdés az hogy mi a célunk mi a mi a küldetésünk az életben mit akarunk elérni and i would like to ask you what you want to what is the mission of your life what do you want in life önök szerint mi mi a célunk mi mi a küldetésünk az életben I think I have asked this question in many forums and most people tell me that they are looking for happiness. Is that correct? You are also looking for happiness? Ez már nagyon sok embernek feltettem ezt a kérdést, a válasz mindig a boldogság volt tényleg. Azt keresünk leginkább. Are you looking for happiness? Azt, azt keresünk, boldogok szeretnének lenni. I think every human being by very nature looks for happiness. Nobody looks for unhappiness. Minden ember a természeténél fogva elsősorban a boldogságot keresi, boldogtalan, senki nem szeretne lenni. We look for happiness because the creator who has created all of us, his character is happiness. In Sanskrit they call it Anand, Satchit Anand. That he, he has three basic qualities. Yeah. The first quality is Sat, that is eternal, Chit, that is consciousness, and Anand, that is happiness. Yeah. Okay, so you see, okay. Uh, why do we need happiness? This is a question. We need happiness because our basic character is happiness. A, az alap természetünk milyen fogalma szükségünk a boldogságra, így alkottak bennünket, ezért keressük annyira. Now what is our basic character? I will come to that question later on in my talk. De ehhez visszatérünk még, hogy mi, mi is az alapvető jellemző. 
But let us stay at this moment that we all look for happiness. De abban állapodjunk meg, hogy mindannyian a boldogságot keresünk alapvetően. The second question which people ask me based on the title of my book is that how can we discover mysteries of life? A másik kérdés, amivel az emberek nagyon sűrűn fordulnak hozzá, az, hogy hogyan tudjuk megtalálni a válaszokat az élet rejtélyeire. This universe is a vast, infinite universe. Billions of stars and variety of life forms. Even on the earth alone there are millions of life forms. How can we discover mysteries of life? This universe is a vast universe. Billions of stars. Mert ugye az univerzum hatalmas körülöttünk sok millió csillaggal. And even this earth on which we live has millions of life forms. És még ezen a bolygón is, amin élünk itt is millió annyi formája van az életnek. We have not even been able to understand our own body. How can we discover mysteries of life? De mi közben, hogyha a saját Testünkkel sem tudunk megismerkedni, vagy ahogyan fogunk rájönni az élet nagy rejtélyeire. So this is the second question which we will address. And then ez egy második kérdés, amire most meg fogunk választani. And then we will move from there. Aztán tovább megyünk. So first of all, I would like to concentrate. Why do we need Why do we want happiness? Az első kérdés, hogy miért is keresünk annyira a boldogságot? You see, when I say that this is my hand, this is my body, when I ask you what is this, you will say my body, my hand. When I say what is this, this is my water bottle. So what is the difference between your hand and water bottle? Amikor azt mondom, hogy itt a kezem, vagy itt a testem, akkor az alatt mindannyian ugyanazt értjük, mint ahogy ezen a vízes palackon is. Your hand is not you, your body is not you. De a kezünk azok nem mi vagyunk, hogy a testünk sem. That's why we say it is my body. There is somebody who owns this body. De ezt jelent, hogy még a saját testünket is elsőbb, ami szeretnénk. It's something like a water, this is my water. There's no difference between my body and my water. Mint, mint ahogyan a vizet is, úgy is fogalmazunk, hogy ez az én vizet. So we will discover who is the owner of this body. Először azt próbáljuk fel. In all languages they say my body, my mind. Why do they say my? Why can't they say it is me? They can't say it is me. Nem azt mondjuk, hogy én, hanem azt, hogy az enyém. So first we must discover who we are before we reach why we need happiness. Először azt kell megtudnunk, hogy kik vagyunk, utána talán eljutatunk a boldogsághoz is. So I give a very brief description of the human constitution, of our own constitution. Megpróbálom röviden összefoglalni, hogy is jelent az öntudatosságunk. And this is no spirituality, no religion, this is all science and you will all feel that it is science. Ebben nincs semmiféle spiritualitás, ez nincs tudomány elsősorban. The first part of My constitution is my body, which is physical, large, gross. Like the gas was one of the physical elements, I believe, was a common element. And this body is a miraculous creation. It was a test to make it so that it was all good. You eat all kinds of bread and fruits and juice and water. It converts into what? Blood, flesh, bones. How it happens inside the body? Elfogyasztunk sokféle élelmiszer terményt, amik aztán véri, hogy az alkot már megyik kíván, a fonyag történik ez vajon. The things we eat are inanimate, they don't have life, but inside they become alive. Amiket elfogyasztunk élettelenek, de aztán bennünk mégis élővé válnak. There are, according to science, there are billions of cells in our body, and every day millions of them die and they are recreated. A sejtjeink millió szám halnak el, és aztán teremtődnek újra minden egyes nap. When body needs food, it makes you feel hungry. When it needs water, it makes you feel thirsty. Amikor éhesek, amikor élelemre van szükségünk, éhesek vagyunk a folyadékra, akkor szomjasan. It's an intelligent creation. Mert ez egy intelligens alkotás, amit vagyunk. When it needs rest, it makes you feel sleepy. 
amikor pihenésre van szükség, amikor fáradnak érezzük magunkkal. So this body is a miraculous creation, but it is the weakest, remember, weakest part of the human constitution. A testünk milyen csodálatos, mégis a, a mégis rendkívül gyenge, a, a leggyengébb alkotó elemünk. Repeat, the weakest part of the human constitution. Úgy önmagában, a, mint, mint ember, a fizikai valónk az a leggyengébb. The body, which is such a huge one, it is controlled by our five senses of perception and five senses of action. A testünket az öt érzékszervünk és észlelésünk irányítja. For example, if somebody does not, cannot see with eyes, cannot hear with ears, cannot smell, what is his body? He is like a vegetable. Tehát, hogyha ha valaki mondjuk nem lát, vagy nem hal, vagy, vagy nem tud beszélni, akkor, akkor valójában minek kellene neveznünk a testét. In all days when you cannot see properly, you cannot hear, you cannot eat properly, you cannot uh, smell properly, your body becomes like a vegetable, isn't it? Ha bármely érzékszervünk, hogyha le kellene mondanunk, tulajdonképpen akár zöldségnek tekintetnénk magunkkal. So this huge big body is controlled by these small senses. Tehát ilyen apró érzékek azok, amik az egész emberi testet valójában irányítják. So is senses are more powerful than the body, though they are very small. Annak ellenére, hogy az érzékeink milyen aprók, ennek ellenére az egész testünket irányítják. But senses are also very weak. They are the second weakest part of the body. De ugyanakkor az érzéki szervénk valójában rendkívül gyengék. We give lot of emphasis on them, but I will come back to that in the second part of my presentation. They are not as powerful as you think they are. Ugyan nagy hangsúlyt tulajdonítunk nekik, valójában nem annyira erősek, mint amennyire gondolnánk. Your senses are constantly controlled by the mind, which doesn't even exist. You can't see it, you cannot touch it. Az érzékeinket valójában a tudatunk irányítja. Like I'm talking to you now, your ears are here, but you will not hear me unless your mind is with me. Mint ahogy a most tudok beszélek, önök közönök hallják, amit mondok, de hogyha a tudatuk nem akarná, akkor mintha nem is beszélnék, nem értenék, amit mondok. There are many things lying on this table, you will not notice them unless your mind is there. Your eyes are there, but your mind has to be there. Mint ahogy például most sok minden körül vesz bennünket itt a színpadon is, de csak akkor, hogy a tudatosan koncentrálunk rá, akkor fogjuk igazán észlelni őket. Sometimes you sit in front of a television for half an hour. You are watching the TV, but you don't know what is going on. Ask sometimes, I don't know what happened, because your mind was in the shopping center, or maybe with your children somewhere, or maybe uh, traveling somewhere else. Ugyanez előfordul, a televízió előtt ül le is, akár fél órát is nézhetünk úgy egy adást, hogy miközben a tudatunk valahol máshol jár, a végén el kell ismernünk, hogy nem is fogtunk fel semmit, ha valamit a képernyő látó. So your mind controls your senses. Each one of your senses controls my mind. Ebből is látszik, hogy minden egyes érzékszervünket a tudatunk irányít teljesen. It is the mind which sees, it is the mind which hears, it is the mind which tastes. It's the mind which smells. Valójában a tudat az, ami lát, ami hal, ami ízlel, ami szagol. But you see, mind is highly volatile. It is the fastest traveling instrument in this universe. Nothing can travel faster than mind. És a, a tudatnál gyorsabban a világ egyetemben nincsen. In a fraction of a second you can reach moon, in another fraction on the sun, another fraction in Antarctica, another fraction you can reach Budapest. Anywhere you want to reach, in a fraction will be there. Mert a pillanatokban tudunk eljutni a tudatunk által bárhová, akár a holdra, a napra, vagy éppen Budapestre. Mind is the only thing in this universe which can also travel back in time. Nothing can travel back in time except mind. You can go back in your childhood right sitting here. És ugyanakkor a tudat szintén az egyetlen dolog a világegyetemben, ami az időutazásra is képes visszajutott akár a múltba is. And mind also records everything which you think and which you do. It's the complete record of your own self. You may tell lie to others, but you can never lie with your mind, because mind knows what you are thinking and what you are doing and why you are doing it. 
mert mindent a tudatunk által fogunk fel, ami a mi érzékelünk, az az nem valósabb. So mind is a very powerful instrument with us, but it is also very volatile. Volatile. Very powerful, but very volatile. Very uh, erratic, moves here and there, slips. Like, like waves in the ocean. It's like waves in the ocean. It's like waves in the ocean. It's constantly moving, never stops. So how do we control mind? That's a very big uh, exercise in itself. But there's another layer beyond mind in our constitution that is called intellect. 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 Buddhi. The reasoning, the reasoning, the power of reasoning. In Sanskrit they call it buddhi. The intellect keeps telling you this is right, this is wrong thing. It keeps it keeps interacting with the mind. Telling, don't do this, do this, this is right, this is wrong. The intellect keeps telling you that do this, don't do this, this is right, this is wrong. This is moral, this is immoral, this is legal, this is illegal. You always interact, your mind always interacts with your intellect. You think yourself, you will find it. Every constantly there is interaction between mind and intellect. Constantly there is interaction between mind and intellect. So these are the layers. Beyond there, there is a, beyond intellect. There is a thing called soul, human soul, which is even beyond intellect. This, if you observe this, I'll come back to soul a little later in detail. But if you observe this sequence, you will find that the, as the things become smaller, smaller, and more subtle, they become more powerful. The body is huge, big, but it is not that powerful as senses are. Senses are small but more powerful. Mind is doesn't even exist, you can't even see, touch and you know, hear it, but it is even more powerful than senses. If you Intellect is even more subtle than mind, even more refined than mind, and it controls the mind quite often. As an fabulous was in the foundation, we are not going to go to the cottage. And then the soul, the soul does not exist physically. It has no physical existence at all. It's regularly like only physical. It's not even physical. It's like I'm not my focus. And when it leaves the body. You are dead. Your yeah. body is dead. Your senses are dead. Your mind is dead. Your intellect is dead. Everything disappears. It's like a foundation of this building. If you take the foundation out, the building collapses. And that is the soul which I was talking about. Is the owner of your body. Ez a lélek, ami a testünk tulajdonosa. When I say it is my body, who is me? Me is the soul. I am the soul. Amikor azt mondom az én testem, akkor a kérdésre, hogy ki az az enyém, ki az én, a válasz a lélek. And since I am the soul, 
I want happiness because the character of the human soul is happiness. És hogyha én a lélek vagyok, akkor a boldogságot keresem, mert ez minden emberi életnek az alapja, a legfontosabb a boldogság. The human soul is the part of the universal soul, and the character of universal soul is described in three words in Sanskrit. Az emberi lélek az az egyetemes életnek a, az alapja, összetevője, és ennek pedig a legfontosabb jellemzője a boldogság, amit a szanszkrit nyelven egy három tagú szóval jellemzünk. This is Sat Chit Anand. Sat is eternal. Az el... Chit is consciousness. Anand is happiness. Örök, tudatos és boldog ez a három szó. And this is the character of the human soul also. Ezek egy, ez egy egyszeres mind az emberi lelket is jellemzik meg elsősorban. It is eternal, it is never destroyed. Az örök soha nem pusztul el. We change our body, the soul remains. Változunk ugye a tested, a lelkünk örök. Like we change our clothes, you know, when they are torn, when they are useless, we throw these clothes away. The body is thrown by the soul away, and it takes the soul takes a new body. Ugyan 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 mi a lányokat vágyjuk, ugyan elkuk a testünket vágyja. So this is the first character of the human soul. Ez az első fontos jellemzője az emberi lélek. The second character is it provides consciousness to the entire body. You see, this is chit that is it provides you consciousness. A második fontos jellemzője ez a gyakorlatosságot a testünkben. As soon as the soul leaves, all your consciousness is gone and you are dead. And the third character is that Anand. Anand is the happiness. 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 We put air in the balloon. It would like to. It would like to leave the balloon and go and rest the air again. Akkor a levegő megkobálja majd el, hogy mi a balon, de aztán az majd újra feltöltődni. You put water anywhere, it will move towards the ocean. Anywhere. Ugye úgy, hogy víz is bármova is kerül, egyébként víz az ocean felé áramlik. The same is the nature of the soul. It wants happiness. Ugyan úgy, hogy az emberi lélek, akkor itt mindig a boldogság felé tennem. So we answer one question that why we want happiness, because the owner of this body, each soul, which character of which is happiness. Hát ugye, mi azért keresünk annyira a boldogságot, mert a testünk tulajdonosa a lelkünk keresi, mert annak alapvető jelenzője. Now we should understand what I call The power of insensible. Yeah, most most I could have given you a sort of an answer, but you can't tell. Fair for what you cannot see is like an attempt to cause a riot. That is a sensual element to understand the mystery of the creation, to understand the mystery of this universe. As an as a mystery of this universe, to understand the mystery of this universe, you must understand the power of the insensible. Tehát felünk kell emelkednünk az érzékszerveinken, és fel fogunk valamit, ami felettük el ahhoz, hogy megpróbáljunk választ kapni az élet lejtelmére. You see, we give a lot of emphasis on our sense organs. Mert túl nagy jelentőséget tulajdonítunk azoknak az érzékszerveinknek, amit kell a mondani. Whatever we can see, whatever we can hear, we believe that. De amit látunk, vagy megfogunk, vagy hallunk, elsősorban abban hiszünk, annak hiszünk. And what we don't see, what we can't hear, what we can't smell, we don't believe. So we still have to remember how the memories of us are still in the air. But our sense organs are very weak. They are as easy as a blinking eye. As soon as the sun sets, your eyes cannot see. We are not on a plane anymore, and we are not in the atmosphere. What you see from here, up to a distance, you can see. Beyond that distance, you cannot see. És eleve van látó határunk is, amint túl alapvetően nem látó. Your ears can hear up to a point beyond that, no? A, a fülünk is csak egy adott távolságon belül észre. If the sounds are much, then your ears cannot hear properly. Ugye, és ugye zavarosabb a hangok, már nem is érjük jól. 
your sense of smell for example it's so poor that even a low sense of smell is so good that you can follow each one of us for kilometers but we cannot even smell that az orvosszaglásunk az a különösen gyenge amik egy kutyával ellentéve a ki kilométerekről is körülnek tudna bennünket so there are lot of things in this universe i'll give you some examples to illustrate it which are beyond the grasp of our sense organs most csak néhány példában próbálkozom próbáltam érzékeltetni hogy az érzés szerint a holban nem bízható let me give you an example of time most az időre próbálok egy egy we talk about time every day in our life every second every every Where is time? Hol van az idő? Can you see it? Látjuk. Can you hear it? Halljuk. Can you smell it? Meg tudjuk szagolni. Can you taste it? Vagy kóstolni. Can you touch it? Megérinteni. Show me. Mutassa meg valaki az időt. Can you sense or the understand time? Van bármilyen olyan érzékszerünk, amilyen tudja észlelni az idő. But you know the power of time. It has already just inspired you. It makes you old from a fetus to a child to to young to old age to death. It is the time which takes you this way. De például az az idő visz egy kis érdeket az életünkön és ahogyan a kisgyerekekről megöleszünk. The very life is defined in in terms of time. Az egész életünket alapvetően az időben mérjük. If I say that I'm 55 years old, what is that 55? There is time. Hogy ha azt mondom, hogy 50 éves vagyok, akkor ez egy kérdés, hogy mi mit jelent ez pontosan, hol van az idő? The life of every single physical object in this universe is defined by time. Minden egyes élő eleme a világegyetem, ennek az életét elsősorban időben tudjuk jellemezni. Including the life of this glass or this tray or this Azok a tárgyakra is mind ilyen szempontból az időjel, az amit körülvesztem bennünket, vagy neked az épület, és ugyan most vagyunk minden. With time they decay, and with time they are destroyed. Az idő az, ami alatt létrejöttek, és szintén az idő az, ami alatt elmányban. But where does time exist? De de ahonnan jön az idő, ahol létezik, hogy ez sehol. This is the power of insensible. As per the world, it is a very important thing that we cannot see. Let me give you another example. Most mondok egy példát. What is here in this in this area? Mi mi az a most körülvesz? Hogy a mi tud mi a this world? What is there? Nothing. It's empty. Nothing. Hogy a ilyen a tér fölött üres, nincs ott semmi. Nothing that is here. When you go out, the full vast open sky is nothing. It's empty. És hogyha a kínálni, akkor azt látják, hogy hatalmas a vad, az ég volt. Isn't it? Ugye üres. Isn't it? It's empty. De de üres, ugye? But you know, in this empty space, everything you can conceive in your mind exists. De ebben a nagy üres térben egyébként bármilyen, amit el tudunk képzelni, az mindig létezik. Every particle of creation exists in this empty space. Every particle of creation exists in this space. Ugyanez az a tér, amivel egyébként minden elemben lény a világjátoknak egyszerre megtalálható. To begin with, the air we are breathing in and breathing out there. Existing in this empty space, isn't it? We have a level of vision here that we can talk. Then we can even realize the position of the moon in the sky. We can talk about this water in this empty space because we call it humidity. The water in the sea is just plain water, not even. If the humidity is very low, then we have to put water to make it humid. So this exists. The water exists in this empty space. The sea is just plain water, not even. The water in the sea is just plain water, not even. How does my sound travel to you and your sound to me? How? <laughs> this is also possible from this empty space. The same thing as on the other side of the mosque. In this empty space, you feel as soon as you go out, you feel cold. You come out, come inside, you feel heat. 
Why this heated, cold existence and distress? Yeah, az is milyen érdekes, hogy ugyan ebben az nagy üres térben egyébként, ha kimegyünk az épületen kívül, akkor házi fogunk, ha visszajövünk, melegünk van, tehát különböző hűménysökleteket is érzelünk ugyanabban a nagy térben. Now, let me give you an example of modern times. A modern időkre egy példát mondok ma. You put a Wi-Fi here, and you will have access to the whole data which is anywhere existing in the world. Például a most itt működne Wi-Fi, akkor értelem, mint ebből a térből, akkor a világjelentnek mindenhol, a világ minden pontjával értelem összekapcsolódhat. How do you get that access? Because those data exist in the same space, otherwise you can't get access to that. Olyan, hogyan tudunk így kapcsolatok kerülni, ugyan ebben a nagy üres térben ezek szerint még a kapcsolat is ott van. Ugyan ebben a nagy légüres térben, ami körülvesz minket, ami ezek szerint minden információ is egyszerre megtalálható. When we breathe in, we breathe in air, but we also breathe in energy. The sun energy is absorbed into this space. The sun energy exists in every particle of the space. When we call the feelings, we call the energy that the energy has is shut down. The non energy that is only possible to come in. Why am I not sure about this one? So there is so much in this empty space you can't imagine. I can give you thousands more examples. You put your uh, remote control and the curtain will open. How there is something in this empty space which enables those. We have to travel there to the curtain, and it's open. And many of you don't have to worry about them. Can't be there. I'm also sure that they are there. Can't be. Azt is mondhatnám például, hogy távirányítással, ami minden térünk el szintén, egy, egy távirányítóval, ugyanezen a légüres téren keresztül. So this is the power of the insensible. Ez, ez, ez mind annak a felfoghatatlanak az ereje, amit, amit nem érzékelni. If we understand that power, we will start understanding the power of the soul, because soul is insensible. Ha elkezdjük ezt érteni, ezt a fölöttünk álló dolgot, akkor közelebb jutunk a lélekhez, annak megértéséhez. That soul's power you can understand only by understanding these factors which are beyond our sense perception in the physical world. Meg kell próbálnunk megérteni az érzés szervényeken túlmutató dolgokat ahhoz, hogy elkezdjük érteni a lelkünket. Let me give you one more example of insensible. Mondok még egy példát az érzékszervénykkel, nem érszállható dolgokra. After little while you will all go back home, you will have your dinner, and then you will feel like sleeping. A hamarosan most majd önök haza fognak térni, vacsorázunk, és aztán el is álmosodnak. What is that sleep? Mi legyen ez az álmosság? Honnan jön ez? Can you see that sleep? Látjuk ezt, érzékeljük. Can you touch it? Meg meg lehet fogni. Can you smell it? Meg lehet szagolni az állat, hogy az állatoság nem egy szenszékelhető. And you collapse completely. It makes you completely collapse. Én sem tettem össze is zsugorokon. The insensible sleep makes you completely collapse. You have become helpless. You don't know what is happening. And you forget about yourself. And you can smell also. Közben akkor tényleg boldogok vagyunk, akkor nem tudunk magunkról. So, this is the power of insensible, which we must understand. We should not give too much emphasis only on the things which are visible, which are audible, which we can smell, which we can touch. Meg kell tanulnom sokkal kisebb hangsúlyt tulajdonítani az érzékszervekkel felfogható dolgoknak, amiket hallunk látunk. So these are the two things which I wanted to explain before I go to the nature of human life. So I keep it very important. Do you want to know something? 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 Frustration, why we get into this cycle of pain all the time? Why? This is the question. We get into this cycle of pain all the time. Why? This is the question.
the nature of human life to understand that we must understand that why we get into this cycle of unhappiness why the stress comes to us also as ich mein ja dann ich mein ja dann ich bin dann ja also so stress ist ja dann und dann ist bin da wo ich so mit dann schon für vorher every day in your life you feel the pain you feel the stress you feel restless why I suppose it happens with all of you sometimes. And you all feel that why it happens, why can't I overcome it? So when you're talking about the modern man, the, where the stress levels and loneliness is going up, Let us talk why it happens and how we can tackle that problem. Well, I hope that you can share with us the knowledge that you have learned from the process of learning and the process of learning, and the process of learning, and the process of learning. The major cause of this happening is the sense, human sense, human sense, sense organs. Ez első, ez is első, ha van az érzés szerint kell alakul egyébként. The sense organs look outside. Mert kifelé vizsgálódik. They are designed to look outside. Erre, erre, erre készül neked. They are designed to tempt you. Azért, hogy van, hogy nyomás gyakoroljanak rá. You go out and you go to a shopping mall and find a very nice advertisement for a beautiful dress and you feel tempted. Mondjuk egy áruházban például meglátok egy szép ruhát, és a szemet azt érdekelni bennünket. You meet your friend who has the latest model of mobile phone and you feel tempted. I should also have it. Ugyanilyen vágyat ébresz bennünk például egy ismeres új mobiltelefonon találkozni. You walk around the street and you find a huge, big, nice looking car and you say, oh, why can't I have it? Az utcán járva például látunk szép nagy autókat, amikre szintén elkezdünk vágyakozni. So these desires arise in our search through the sense organs. Ezek a vágyak az érzés szerveink által, ezek folyamatosan erősödnek. The five senses of perception, that is the hearing, the sight, Touch, smell, and taste—they are the source of these desires. No, as a desire, sir, we are not for a shy as a provider. As soon as you satisfy one desire, another three desire come up. No, we take the desire to get out here and get any other one who will get it. For example, you have. A small house. You want to have a bigger house. After you get a bigger house, you want to have another house in Budapest also. And your kids has got a new house. My new papa has got a new house. My new papa has got a new house. And once you have a house in Budapest, you want to have one in London or another in Paris also. They want to have a salon or one in Paris or something. These desires are infinite in their nature. És az, ezek a vágyok, ezek örökösenek. This is the way the world is made. This is the way the world has been created. Há, így, 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 így teremtődött a világ. This applies not only to eyes, it applies to sound, it applies to the taste. You go to one restaurant, today the food is nice, or today, tomorrow I should go to Chinese, third day I should go to Indian, fourth day I should go to Japanese. És ez természetesen nem csak a, a látásra vonatkozik, ez ugyanúgy a szaglásra, az ízlésre, a ízlelésre, ugyanúgy, ahogy mondjuk minden nap második terembe vágyunk akár. And these sense organs also take your mind with them, you know, they, they take the mind with them. az érzékszemek elragadják a, a, a tudat, az elménket is. So we must understand why we become In the why we get into this cycle of desires. And for these desires, there are five regions, five specific regions. 
lány mögött öt különböző dolog húzódik. In Sanskrit they are called Kaam, Krodh, Mat, Lob, Moh. Kaam is the sexual desire. Az első az a szexuális vágy. Mat is arrogance, ego. A második az ego, az arrogancia. Lob is greed. Az irítsé. Moha is attachment. 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 Like you are my friend or something. Oh, chalak. Ragos. 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 Ha mi a jóban megvizsgáljuk az emberiséget például az öt közül az emberek 60%-ig az első a szexuális vágy körül. The entire beauty industry, the entire fashion industry, the entire jewelry industry. Az ipar is pénzre foglalkozik. Even hotel industry, even travel industry. Még a, még a szállodai ipar is, vagy az utazási ipar is. There's an element of sexual, make it sexy, so it will attract you, you know? This is the element which attracts people. Okay, so the same way in the world, you know, you can see the people who are very important, who are very sexy. It's a very powerful element in our body. Which attracts us towards those items in the world. We all have to spend on it as a result of all of us. The second element is Mad, that is ego, arrogance. Mashal, ego, arrogance. This is the element which wants you wants to become more powerful. You want to become a more important. Egy a hatalmasabb, a kényelme folyásosabb, a szeretnék, egy a fontosabb, a szeretnék lenni. So you want to acquire power through elections, through other means, you know, through wealth. You want to acquire power. Minden féle formáját a hatalomnak próbáljuk. This happens with everybody. Why can't I become more important in the society? That is the second element which attracts us to to these desires. This is a match to be important to share with others and provide them. The third one is the greed. How many people see each one? We all want to accumulate more and more. Whether it is money, whether it is. Clothing, whether it is objects, there's a greed. Why not more? 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 The fourth region is the attachment, you know. The fourth region is the attachment. <coughs> you have to say, this is mine, this is yours. That's so amazing. So, so we consider certain things as <coughs> this is my wife, this is my child, this is my friend. And you want to do more and more for them. És egyre többet próbál megtenni értől. And which attaches you. Amitől a jobban kötődő. And if you fail to do achieve all this, you become angry. De hogyha ezt nem sikerül elérni, attól milyen érsek leszünk. And in the mood of anger, you do more mistakes. De a méreg az általában több hibát szül. So this is the nature of human senses, and this is how the human senses work. Ez a ez jellemzi az emberi érzékeket, így működnek. Once we understand this, then we should think next step. Is it really needed for us? Is it really needing to happiness for us? Hogyha ezt sikerül megérteni, akkor tovább gondolhatjuk, vajon szükségünk-e van erre? A szükségünk van erre, ha ez vezet el minket a boldogsághoz. If you look at the life of some of the most powerful and wealthy people, They have either committed suicide, and or they have died in a very miserable state. 
ha érdemes megnézni például a leghatalmasabb vagy leggazdagabb emberekkel, hogy az ő életüket vizsgálni, mennyire szerencsétlenül a haltak meg. Because the more power and more wealth you accumulate, the more problems you have to Mert a több hatalom, több pénz, egy <coughs> nagyobb vagyon, az egyre több problémás stresszt hozott neki. For example, you have 10 bank accounts, a lot of money. You're all the time worried over whether this bank will survive or not survive, whether this currency is good or not good. It will not allow you to sleep in the night. A sok pénz például egy bankszámlán, az is sok stressz szül azt, hogy az árfolyamok jól alakulnak, hogy a bank hogy fog tovább élni, ez is sok problémákat. You have stocks here, you have bought shares there, the, the share price goes down, you feel totally lost. Aztán el is veszünk ezeknek az eredetejében, még a tőzsdét is oda rászul. You have many properties, you can't manage them properly, some body is occupying illegally, something is collapsing, so it creates as many problems for you. Ha nem, nem tudunk már ügyelni erre a sok vagyonra, és ez folyamatosan sok problémákat szül. So this cycle of desires, each in Sanskrit it is a word called Maya. So we remain involved in this cycle of desires mostly all the time. And we forget who we are. We never think who am I. We always remain involved in this world through these five regions. De soha nem azon gondolkozunk, ki vagyunk, mindig csak az érzés szerveiket követjük. And something or the else, something, one of those things will cause stress for you. Today, for example, your son is not well, oh, he's not well. And you feel very, you know, scared, stressed with that. Végül mindegy is van stressz hoz nekünk. Tomorrow, for example, one of the banks collapses and your bank account is lost. You feel totally terrified. Now, I do not want to tell you that you should become indifferent to all, but you should be able to overcome all this without affecting yourself. If somebody is sick, you have to be help, you know, compassion for him. You should help him, but it should not affect you. If you have a lot of better, you should be able to help him, and not be affected by his condition. Let me give you an example of the ocean. Ocean, see, the ocean. You see, on the surface of the ocean. You have all the time these strong waves coming, going, coming, going, constantly. Az óceán felszíni megállás nélkül követik egymást a hullámok. But once you go a little bit deep down into the ocean, it's all calm, quiet. De hogy mélyebben nézünk, ott minden nagyon nyugodt. And millions of life forms live there. És ott az életnek sok millió formáját is találkozik. You ask a diver how cool and calm is down below. Ezt egy kubát tudná elmondani, aki lemerül és elmondja, hogy mennyire nyugodt az utcán, mennyire minden. All these waves on the top don't bother him once you are go down there. Hogyha lemerül, akkor a só felszíni hullám már nem zavarja. So if you can go down to your soul, you can realize that I'm a soul. And you start connecting yourself with the soul. Then all these senses and these turbulences which happen because of senses and desires will not affect you. Ugyan ez vonatkozik rák, és hogyha megtaláljuk kapcsolatot a lelkünkkel, akkor ez a sok zavar, amit az érzés szerveink okoznak, értelen kikapcsolható. These desires and these turbulences will exist, but they will not affect you. This is important. A vágyak és ezek a zavarok, ezek továbbra is létezni fognak, nem lesznek már ránk hatással. You will be stable like this, and the wave will continue up and over. This will continue. You will remain stable. You will not move with the wave like this. Nem fogunk, nem mozdul tovább a hullámokkal, nem stabilak egy maradunk egy esőben leszünk alattól. But that is possible only when we understand. Firstly, what we want in life, 
Secondly, what is our constitution which I just described? De ezt csak akkor lehet csinálni, hogyha ha rájövünk, hogy el, 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 mit várunk az élettől, mit is vagyunk. And thirdly, the nature of this world surrounding us, which keeps tempting us. Tempting us. The nature of this world surrounding us. Megpróbáljuk meg értelmezni a minket körülbelül természetet is. There are advertisements, very seductive, which tempt you. When you go to shopping mall, there are huge display of products which tempt you to show. So we have to understand the nature of these temptations. We have to understand the nature of our senses. Meg kell értenünk a természeti közöknek a mozalmaknak, meg az érzés szerveinknek is. And we have to understand the nature of our soul, the, our own being. És meg kell értenünk a saját lelkünket, önmagunkat is. Once you are able to do that, you will find it much easier not to get stress from all the heavens outside the world. You will have to satisfy your needs of the body because the body needs food, body needs water, body needs housing, sometimes medicine. You have to satisfy those needs. Ki kell elégítenünk a testünk szükségleteit, legyen az élelmiszer, folyadék, akár gyógyszerek is, ez a legfontosabb. But the desires are infinite. Once you get into the cycle of desires, that is infinite. That you can never satisfy. De hogyha belekerülünk közben a vágyok forgásába, az örök maradok, akkor akkor sosem leszünk elégedettek. So, The cycle of pain and pleasure starts from desires. So, a vágyakból indul a az élvezetek és a és a szorpányban a körforgása. Like I go to the market, I want to buy a mobile phone. I buy good mobile phone, very nice one, and come home and feel happy. Mint amikor mondjuk elmegyek és vásárolok egy mobiltelefont, és hogyha vásároltam egy jót, akkor hazaérve, és ezt megvásárolva elégedett, boldog leszem. It gives you pleasure, I'm very happy. Örömet fogok hozni. After five days I go to market again, and there's a much better motor. Előbb nap múlva majd fogok látni egy, egy sokkal modern ember. Which my friend just bought. Amit a barátom a képes ígérőt megvásárolva. I start feeling miserable. Why can't I have that mother? So that pleasure which you got turned into a pain. And this happens to us every day in life. Somebody goes to market, buys a beautiful dress, He or she is very happy. Once he comes home, he finds the neighbor dressed in a better one, and she feels better. Vásár holunk egy szép ruhát, ahogy aztán hazaérkezünk, utána megnáljuk a szomszédunk, aki szebben öltözött, és a pillanatnyi boldogságunk itt is megint csak a fájdalom, a boldogtalanságjel válik. So you must remember that these physical objects which we acquire for satisfying our desires, They can give you only temporary happiness. Ez a megfogható dolog, amiket magunkat megszerezhetek, ezek csak pillanatnyi boldogságot fognak okozni nekünk. This happiness lasts for a little while and then it turns into unhappiness. Ez a boldogság csak a nyarúgy ideig tart, és a nejéből boldogtalansága megy el. This is the nature of this world. Ez a világ természetéből adó. If you want to overcome this cycle, We have to connect ourselves to the soul. A lelkünk kell keresni a kapcsolatot, hogyha felül akarunk emelkedni ennek a problematikáján. We have to go down into the ocean, far, a little bit down below uh, the waves, below those waves which are on the surface of the ocean. Le kell menni az óceán hullámai alá, oda, ahol nyugalmat találni. Once you start feeling that I am the soul, Your thinking will change completely, and you will start getting peace in your mind. Still, yeah. 
Then what is available in the shopping mall and what your neighbor buys will not bother you anymore. Then what is available in the shopping mall and what your neighbor buys will not bother you anymore. What will bother you is only what you need. That's it. Csak annyi fog éppen szólni, ami ne éppen szükség van, és hogyha az, hogy azt megszerzem, akkor már volt is leszem. That state will come only when we connect within our state. Ehhez magunkba kell nézni, meg kell találni kapcsolat a tőlemagunkban. And this is not, as I was telling you, this is all science. When I'm telling you, I'm sure you must be Realizing all this truth in your own self. Because this is the way I our body functions. Because this is the way our body functions. Because this is the way our body functions. This is the way our constitution functions. This is the way our body 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 functions. It's the question how our body constitutes and functions. It's absolute pure science. As as a pusta tudomány, which is a hit, has shown that there is a wall. As for question, as 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 previous session, I have shown how it works. Now I want to go a little beyond this now. Another ten minutes. Is it okay? Most of the time, I mean. Now, as a result of this. Desires which we have all the time, we have got into a cycle of more production, more consumption, more production, more consumption. Mini, mini, for your motion, is that your ten? Production is the most production. For your motor, that is a fogyasztói dráma, a vállam a fogyasztó. Everybody wants more income in the next month. I should now I am earning twenty thousand for it. I should earn twenty five, thirty, fifty. Even if you earn five million, you say I want to earn ten million. Similarly, the companies, which big companies, they say we should have this this month we sell. 20 billion for it now 21 billion 25 billion they also want to increase their sales every month how well all the kishi you can act for him to show me that you can make us another share with the profit you can show to match my share and the countries want more gdp gross domestic product should increase the share will not as over side of kishi if you want to do all that you will have to take more resources from the nature de ahhoz, hogy ezt elérjük, egyre jobban ki kell zsákmányi olyan a környezetünkkel. If you want to produce more naturally, you will have to use more energy, you will have to use more water, more minerals. Ha többet akarunk termelni, az több energia, több ásványk is, mint minden pöltök kell. And then you will also produce more pollution, because more waste, és ekközben sokkal jobban szennyezünk is a környezetet. You will pollute the rivers, you will pollute the lakes. Ezzel szennyezünk a tavakat, a levegőt. We will pollute the air because of a lot of air pollution. Nagyon jellemző ekközben a lég szennyezés például. We will also pollute the earth surface. De a földfelszínt is szennyezünk. So this pollution and contamination will continue to increase if we have this cycle.